I am Anil Kumar sharing with you another important question on curve sketching. The question is apply algorithm to sketch the function f of x equals to 1 over x square minus 1. Now it's a calculus question. Uh, let me sketch the graph here using our knowledge of uh, reciprocal functions and then we'll follow the methods learned in calculus and then we'll apply the algorithm okay so first part is x square minus 1 is a parabola which is shifted one unit down so so I could sketch it something like this a parabola shifted one unit down right now when we say reciprocal so this graph which I've drawn here is basically of let's say g of x which is x square minus 1 now, when we say f of x, which is 1 over g of x, we're trying to sketch reciprocal of this. Then zeros, 1 over 0, means undefined, will result into vertical asymptotes, right? So these zeros are at plus and minus 1, and they will result into vertical asymptotes. So this is 1, this is minus 1. And here, it is minus 1, the minimum value. Now, when we do reciprocal, at that time, minus 1 reciprocal will be minus 1. So, this is common. Reciprocal of negative is negative. Approaching 0 means approaching infinity. So, so the graph will be kind of like this. On the positive side, reciprocal has to be positive. As you're approaching zero, you're approaching positive infinity. So the graph will be kind of like this. So effectively, this is the graph for the function f of x. So I hope it is absolutely clear, right? Okay. Now let's use the algorithm to provide all solutions. Now first, it will not have any x-intercept clearly so it has no x-intercept how about the y-intercept there is one so no x-intercept y-intercept is at minus one so you could write this point as zero minus one now we have two vertical asymptotes, so we have vertical asymptotes at x equals to plus minus 1 and we have a horizontal asymptote which is y equals to 0, right? Now from here, we'll also write down the end behavior. So when you say end behavior, we say when x approaches negative infinity, y approaches 0. It is a good practice to write plus here, showing that you are approaching from the positive side. And when x approaches positive infinity, y approaches 0 from positive side only. Okay. Now, the other features which you observe here are increasing and decreasing intervals. So we can say increasing from minus infinity to minus 1 and then from you can say union minus 1 to 0 and decreasing from 0 to plus 1 and then 1 to infinity okay <clears throat> and the graph is positive we can say it is positive or that is to say f of x is greater than zero for x between when x is when absolute value of x is greater than one right you can see that and it is negative that is f of x is less than zero 
when it is in between that, right? So when absolute x is less than 1. So these characteristics you can sketch, make a rough sketch and get all of them. When we apply algorithm, we actually analyze using first and second derivative. So let's do that part also. f of x is equals to 1 over x squared minus 1. So the derivative of this function will be uh, x squared minus 1 whole square. Derivative of 1 is 0, so we get 0 minus. Derivative of this times 1, which is 2x. So we get minus 2x over x squared minus 1. Now, as you can see here, the critical numbers are at 0 plus minus 1. So we'll analyze the first derivative for three points. One is 0, which is this. And then we have two vertical asymptotes, which are at minus 1 and plus 1. Now, denominator is always positive since this we have squared. So let's analyze the numerator only. So if you have a value which is negative, in that case negative, negative will be positive and so, so that will be positive, right? So anything less than zero will result into positive. Anything more than zero will be negative because of minus two, right? So the graph will be like this. As you can see, it justifies increasing interval do you see that less than zero and decreasing interval is justified from first derivative so that is a check correct now we also get to know here that we have a maximum we can say local maximum at zero which is this point so we have local maximum at zero minus one Perfect. Now let us analyze the second derivative, which is the second derivative for this function is going to be derivative of minus 2x is minus 2 times x square minus 1 whole square minus minus 2x. I'll make it plus 2x. Derivative of this will be 2 times x square minus 1 times 2x over x squared minus 1 to the power of 4. Now, let's simplify this. We can take minus 2, x squared minus 1 common. We are left with x squared minus 1 here. And from this part, since we took minus, I'll have to put negative. So we have taken 2 times x squared minus 1 outside with a negative sign. We are left with 4x squared. over x squared minus 1 to the power of 4. Now this could be simplified. We could write this as minus 2 x squared minus 1 and that gives us minus 3 x squared minus 1 over x squared minus 1 to the power of 4. Uh, now minus minus we can multiply both make it positive. So we get the second derivative as equal to 2 times x squared minus 1 times 3x squared plus 1 over x squared minus 1 to the power of 4. And now let us analyze the second derivative for concavity, right? So we have critical points at plus minus 1. Now Denominator is always positive. We know this is positive. We know this one is also positive. Let's analyze this part. So, if we are on the left side, that means this is minus 1, this is plus 1. If I take a value which is 0, I mean, then this portion will be negative, right? So, so what we get here is a negative value. But if my value is more than plus minus I mean, absolute value of more than, because this is x squared, so it would be positive. So positive means concave up. Positive means we are looking for concave up. Negative means concave down. Positive means concave up. Now, 
we do have a vertical asymptote source so these are not in the domain so we do not have point of inflection so no point of inflection remember that since these two points are not in our domain so domain of the function is x belongs to real numbers where x is not equal to plus minus correct now concavity we know concave up so we have concave up in the interval which is where x value absolute value of x is greater than 1 and we have concave down when absolute value of x is less than 1 is okay so in this interval it is concave down and that's what you see from this particular graph is it okay so with the help of our algorithm we actually could have drawn but we went the other way so first we drew the graph and then we figured out every characteristics of this particular graph so finally the graph will not have any x intercepts it has y intercept which is also a local maxima concavity it is concave up when absolute value of x is greater than 1 on both the sides, concave down when absolute value is less than 1, no point of inflection, two vertical asymptotes, one horizontal asymptote, positive when it is absolute value of x is greater than 1, and negative when absolute value of x is less than 1. So I hope that helps. Feel free to write your suggestions in comments. And if you share my videos with your friends, that would be great. Thank you and all the best.